Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna be shooting my Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 today. And uh, it's a, a beautiful day out here in the, in the deserts of Nevada. But uh, I've, I've previously done a cleaning video on this when I first got it. And I've gotten some emails. People wanna know what, what I've done to upgrade it and you know what upgrades I have done to it. And just how generally how it's how it's doing and how it shoots and so if you're not familiar with uh, with it uh, this is this is a an M&P 1522 uh, the first upgrade I did was I got this uh, Magpul buttstock and put on it uh, I got this this uh, this is an aim. I believe this is a 4x32 illuminated um, grip. And I got this Magpul thing here to, I can't remember what it was called, but uh, like a QD mount, you know, that I put on there. But, uh, but there it is. But I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be shooting some uh, Remington Golds today. Um, I do have a couple of magazines. And uh, let me uh, load a few rounds in these and uh, I'll get set up on the tripod and, and we'll give it a shot. Okay, so uh, before I get started, you know, this, this works just like any other AR, standard AR-15. Um, and... Uh, I did just notice that I'm missing my uh, my thumb screw and plate there, but it still feels pretty solid on there. So uh, for the sake of the video, we're still gonna gonna shoot it like this. Um, anyway, uh, I'm locked and loaded and ready to go. I've got ten rounds in my magazine, so uh, let's see if I can hit this target out there. So, you can see it still shoots good. Uh, I did knock down all the cans. Had some cans set up out there. Uh, this thing is, is easy to shoot. I mean, especially if you're, uh, you know, you're not, not, if you're afraid of an AR-15, this is, this is really the way to go. Um, these are not very expensive. Um, but let me grab my other magazine. So I've got another 10 rounds here. And uh, let me see if I can uh, jump the cans. So, you know, I'm using the, uh, the bolt release here. And it does lock open. And now we're loaded, so let's uh, let's do this again. Looks like I only loaded nine. I think I loaded nine. I thought I loaded 10, but you know, see we're locked open there. Uh, this, this scope actually is really, really clear. Um, now it's kind of bright out right now, so I, I don't have it illuminated, but it does, it does illuminate 
on the inside. And this thing is just generally just fun to shoot. And I mean, you can, you can shoot this all day long and not get tired. It's actually really light. It's all polymer. Um, I don't know if that's a true statement or not, but you know, uh, really the only thing that's metal on here is the bolt, the barrel and the internals, uh, the upper and lower, you know, they're this polymer plastic, whatever. So is, so is this, uh, and in case anybody's curious, a regular AR 15 upper will not fit on this lower. So, uh, Y'all could get that out of your head. <laughs> I've been asked. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.